guys, I'm crying already. It's going to be an emotional day, I think, isn't it? Like, oh, she's got a cafe near us. It's for Zoe. Oh. <laughs> what even um, is the time? Quarter past nine. Quarter past nine. I've been live for 13 hours. <laughs> this is our Easter game. We have been live pretty so much. Zoe has been here since eight. Welcome back to another video. Today is another behind the scenes video. This week we are prepping for a massive, massive weekend of Easter fun, Easter games. And today's Monday, this is happening on Friday. I thought you guys might want to come behind the scenes and just watch the process of how we prepare for such a big weekend. So what's happening this weekend is we have an odds and sods launch, an Easter game, and we're also launching something new. It's gonna be massive because at the start of the year, one of our suppliers went bust, which meant we couldn't purchase any more fragrance oils from them. And I had to revise the whole production plan for the entire year. Now that did mean that I had some leftover fragrances from them which I couldn't use anymore so what we're doing is an odds and sods launch where we're going to use up every last drop of all those fragrance oils so there's no waste and we're going to make some one-of-a-kind products on top of that we've had to change our entire core um, entire core collection to be brand new fragrances so we're actually going to be launching the brand new core collection in a mini version on Friday as well and on top of that we're doing our tradition which is the Easter game so let's dive in and yeah enjoy And I think it's about now that I realise I forgot to put the fragrance into, <laughs> into the first bit of soap and that's why it was so liquidy. Behind the soap shelf. Oh, what? Come on now. Who is it? 
Right down middle. Right down middle. Right down middle. Left down middle. Right down middle. <laughs> wow. Left. Left or right? Yeah. Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
What has she got? I answered the door with all this on my face. Oh, I answered with bunny ears earlier. It was just staring at me like. Oh, she's got a cafe Nero. <laughs> it's for Zoe. Oh, she's got two. She's got two chocolate cake brownies. So, do you oh. like one or one? The brownies are because they know you, they're your favourite. She knows that I like hot chocolates too. Oh, Devin, I needed that. Thank you so much. Oh, that is so adorable. So cute. Guys, I'm so um, tired. We are doing our Easter game. It's literally now, like what? What time is it? <laughs> what time is it? I don't know. What even um, is the time? Past nine. Quarter past nine. I've been live for <laughs> thirteen hours. <laughs> this is our Easter game. We have been live pretty so much. Worth so it, So hey, Tori's live on TikTok and I've been, because we've been so busy today, I've been packing and orders the off the camera. I'm so tired. So <laughs> I'm supposed to be live at 8 o'clock in the, like the morning. So let's see if I can do it. But we've actually bossed it today. We're not even done. It's just been such a good day and I just want to thank everybody for all that. Yeah. Let's see where we're at when we finish the day. Let's find out. Guys! So we've said when we reach 300 orders, I can go home. We're on the last countdown now. Come this way. Let's have a look. Last countdown, guys. Oh my goodness. Let's have a look. What are we up to? One, two, three, four. We've got our four winners, guys. Who is going to get these extras in that order? So we've got three more orders to go and we'll reach 300 orders, guys. Thank you so much, Tamron, for gifting on those lovely tickets. Tamron's just tickets. ordered four Thank tickets so for eight pounds just to give away. So let's add them so to the orders. Customers. So we've got Becky, we've and got now Judy. we only have three orders to go until we've reached 300 orders um, in a day. Then I can go home. place an order for like £2.50 and if it's a first time buyer you'll get an extra in your order free of charge so it really does make these, a difference. I've literally already packed like 50 orders. Left. I printed these hours ago and oh, we've still got so we many orders will. that have come through We've been since. recording It's crazy when you see how YouTube. it so literally on like YouTube on this whole week as well. label for. Um, there's no, there's no packing slips in this. These are well, each guys. individual our YouTube and packing labels. How crazy. So I've got two more. That's even. Thank you my lovely. Another order! We've got one more to go, guys! One more to go! Get into it! So update, um, it's quarter so to ten in the six, evening. Sure I'm going to go home now. We've reached 300 sure orders for the day. Tori's going to carry on until half Saturday. ten because that's what we plan to do. Emily, thank <sighs> you for the so happy. I'm so tired. Get some well um, rest. Anyway, I'm going to go. <sighs> wow, what a day yesterday was. That's actually insane. It's now 7.30 on, what day is it? Saturday. <laughs> um, didn't get a lot of sleep last night and my head was just... I don't know, I think it was just trying to come to terms with like just the madness of yesterday. It's just me that's in work today. I'm going to be going live in less than half an hour and we're going to do it all again. Now, yesterday will be the best day out of all the weekend. We know that already, but um, we've got to go live to just do some more draws and chat to all of you and pack orders as well. So let's just see what else the rest of the weekend brings. Um, Oh, I'm so happy right now. Right, let's go, come on. I thought I'd just get a quick video 
of what the shelves look like during. We started packing orders, probably packed about 40 or 50 orders. And this is what the shelves are looking like at the moment. I'll update you when we finish packing orders after the weekend. <laughs> Oh. oh thank you for an order so update um it's saturday i'm live but i'm a little bit overwhelmed because we've got a lot of orders to pack and i'm a little bit worried that um inventory might be a little bit off for the game so i'm trying to pack orders to get on top of it but now i'm worried that it's going to take too long because there's so many to pack so what i'm going to do rather than actually packing the orders i'm going to bring some spare tables upstairs put like the person's shipping label on the table with the things they've, they've ordered and lay them all out and then see what stock we have left because I can't really be energetic and like trying to sell more if I'm a little bit nervous about what stock we have so let's see how it goes. So it's about quarter to three, I'm so tired. I didn't actually end up getting any orders out, but what I have done is I've made a spreadsheet and I've basically done a stock count of where we are at right now with stock. And then what I'm gonna do is go home because nobody's, nobody's in the rest of the day, nobody's in till tomorrow night. So I'm gonna go home, go through all the orders one by one <laughs> and I'm gonna tally up on, a spread, on that spreadsheet what we owe people in orders and then I'll know what we have left. I already had that idea days ago um, to do this spreadsheet and we would have ongoing, you know, as the orders come through, tallied them off and then if we run out of things, we would have taken them out of the game. But um, for once, I was like, hang on, is that not just too much work? Like, surely we're not going to be that busy. But the one time I'm not overly organised and we're absolutely swamped. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm absolutely exhausted, so I'm going to go home. Rest up, see where the weekend takes us. Okay, not going home yet. I have got another burst of energy, so I'm going to pack orders while I watch Netflix and just get a few more done. I'm gonna plonk you there so you can watch me. Pack some orders. So we've run out of most of our shipping boxes. We were supposed to have a delivery on Thursday, but they didn't come, so they're coming on Tuesday. So um, I've had to sort of think on my feet a little bit and get a little bit organized. So I'll show you what I've been doing. Um, I don't even know what the time is, but I'm plodding along. I've kind of got it in my head now that I just want to get all the orders packed because if I can do that, then I'll know exactly what stock we have left for the rest of the weekend, which means that when Tori's live tomorrow, she can absolutely smash it. And we can just be accurate with what stock we've got for the game. I'm gonna show you what I've done with the orders to keep them all organized. 
So I've got the shipping label upside down with the order number on it and then all the items that are for the order. So when the boxes come on Tuesday, because it's bank holidays, so they won't come on Monday, they'll come Tuesday, um, then we can literally just put the items in the boxes and they're ready to go. This is what the shelves are looking like right now. I think I've got about 100 orders left to pack. Oh, did not mean to zoom in there. How do I zoom out? There we go. Um, yeah, I no, actually, maybe less than that now. Maybe like 80 or 90 orders left to go. The shelves are looking lovely and bare. It's amazing, isn't it, when you see it all in perspective, like how little there is. So I've just realised we have way more orders than I thought left to go. 120. <laughs> That's so many, isn't it? I'm not too sure what the plan is right now, but I don't want to be here too late, so. I'm gonna keep on plodding, plodding along for now. We'll see where we can get to. <laughs> It's Monday, I'm refreshed, I'm back at work. Tori smashed it last night with sales again. Um, I have came in a bit early today to pack orders and just kind of get a little bit organised before I go live. So I've been here since two and it's now quarter past five. So I'm about to get, I'm about to get ready to go live on TikTok for the last time for the Easter madness and a little bit nervous again, but let's see how it goes. Okay, right, I'm gonna write on the whiteboard backwards. Um, we don't have a bo cherry body butter at the minute, but I do have in the mini size. The reason we don't have a full size at the minute is because we're in the process of changing our core collection fragrances over. So I don't have full size, but we have just literally launched on Friday the new cherry fragrance in a body butter mini and the whip soaps too, if you wanna go try one of those. It's 11.30pm on Monday, the 1st of April, absolutely knackered, but also on cloud nine. It's been such a good day. Um, it slowed down today, naturally. We knew, I even said, I think, earlier in the video that we knew Saturday, Sunday, Monday was going to be quieter than Friday. That was going to happen. Um, today, um, it's been busier than Saturday and Sunday, which again is expected. Um, but it came in, it came in like, it came in waves, but it's been so much fun. We've had a really good crowd on all weekend. So many new customers. I think actually, like, I had to check the analytics, but I think like 50% of the customers Friday, Saturday, Sunday were first time customers. How amazing is that? Anyway, I'm gonna go home to bed. I've got everything prepped for the team tomorrow so they can crack on with packing orders. And 
we've got a lot to pack, so we're, gonna, we're telling customers to give us till Wednesday to get them out the door, but I'm just so happy. Oh. <laughs> Boxes have arrived, it's about two o'clock on Monday. Boxes are here, so we're now gonna start packing the orders. I know, but you know what you like. Uh, hey. uh, 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 uh. So it's 4pm, every have come back three times already to come and pick up parcels, it's coming again soon. We've done so well, I'm literally so proud of the whole team today. Um, Sarah's just nipped off because she's finished for the day now, but I'm going to show you where we're at. We're not done, but let me show you. So it's looking pretty empty now, we've just got to figure out these ones on the table because we've had a bit of a mess with TikTok labels, but we'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, we've hardly got anything. How amazing is this? And it's literally 4pm, we're so ahead of time at the minute. These are all ready for the third every collection today. Look how many. We've done that in about, what, 45 minutes, I think? So good. So, we've got all the TikTok orders here, all written out, and me and CJ are going through manually to try and find these labels. Wish us luck. where the TikTok labels went, but we found a way of printing them one by one. So we're gonna do that. I've got CJ and Zach here still packing orders, and I'm gonna text to every guy and see if he can pick up again for the fourth time today, because that would be awesome. Um, yeah, let's get to it, guys.
zoomed on Zach. <laughs> Guys, we're actually almost done. We're just doing the last finishing up bits now, but look at the room. And it's only six o'clock. How impressive is this? What an amazing weekend. It's been a whole week now since we dispatched all the orders at the door. I've had plenty of time to reflect, plenty of time to ev for everyone to get their orders and give us all of their feedback. It's just been absolutely amazing. In the weekend, over 50% of our customers were first-time customers. How amazing is that? Hundreds of first-time customers. And we also obviously gained hundreds of followers. I think we actually gained about 1,000 followers over the weekend on TikTok alone. Um, and I don't know, I, like... It, doesn't, it takes a lot to shock me now, I think, because we've done a lot. We peaked a lot in lockdown with views, with orders, with in all aspects. So it takes a lot to shock me now, if I'm being honest. But this weekend, well, last weekend, absolutely blew me away. I could still almost cry thinking about it. It was just so fun, so much love. And even those that weren't ordering were just on there for the vibes. They were liking, commenting, they were part of something. And it was just really, really, really good fun. A lot was riding on how well the Easter weekend would go because we are changing our core collection and our, and our packaging to aluminium jars and I was hoping to do that all in one go it kind of depended on how well the weekend went when, as to how I could launch those and how I could roll them out but because the Easter weekend went so so well for the first time in a long time the pressure's off and we can just get busy behind the scenes making everything and what we're now going to be doing is we're going to be launching our brand new core collection on the 17th had to think for a second, 17th of April. And then we're gonna be launching the aluminium jars at the end of the month. So we've got two launches this month. It's gonna be so much fun. And thanks to you guys, the pressure is now off and we can get busy behind the scenes and share more of the behind the scenes process with you. So over the Easter weekend, one of the things that we did was we launched our brand new core collection fragrances, but in a mini size. And they went, they flew off the shelves. The one that was the most popular by far was a new peachy fragrance. I'll get one to show you. This is the new peachy one. For example, here's a little whip soap mini. So adorable. They smell like those fizzy peach ring sweets, if you know the ones, like sweet, tangy, um, oh, just mouth water really good. And it is my own fragrance oil blend, so you can't get that fragrance anywhere. They have been really popular. The underdog out of all the new fragrances has been Unwind, which is a, an essential oil blend of lemon, lavender, and eucalyptus. Um, here we go. Um, how adorable. So it's like purple and like a light yellow. So cute. That has been an underdog. I think a lot of people weren't expecting to like it, but they're loving it. So that actually could become a new top seller. The one that hasn't done so well is the only fragrance that we've carried over from our old core collection, which is Into the Woods. As expected, it hasn't sold as well. I think because most people have tried it, but this one is an underdog also because I think because it's not as in your face, girly and obvious what it smells like. I think a lot of people don't tend to buy it, but it smells like vanilla, sandalwood and patchouli. It's like warm and woody, quite perfumey, like aftershavey. It's so nice. So I think I might start giving some more of those as freebies and orders to get, to, to get people to like them because I love that one and we definitely need to share the love. I'm just so proud of my team from this weekend because they were working so hard behind the scenes, labeling everything, piping everything, lidding everything up, which takes hours by the way. And not only that, after a massive weekend, we managed to get every single out the door by the end of Tuesday. Like that is, like that is so impressive. Like it's one thing having a massive weekend, but it's another thing being able to just get on with it, take on the workload and actually smash it. So I just think it's really impressive how as a team we've managed to just, I don't know, take a massive day in our stride and just move on. Like it didn't, didn't take about a whole week to get over it. Like we just got them out the door. So quick, I'm so impressed. I just want to say again, thank you all so much for all of your support from that weekend. Whether you just commented on our live or on our videos, whether you liked it, shared it, even if you placed an order, thank you so much. It was such an incredible weekend and I think it was just a really good team bonding weekend for the whole team because it brought us all together. So thank you. And if you have got your order already, don't forget to leave some reviews online because if you leave a review, you get bubble points and bubble points equal discounts. Um, and if you haven't tried any, any of our products yet, and you're thinking about it just go and try a couple of minis go and try before you buy if you haven't already don't forget to follow us on all of the other platforms instagram tiktok facebook snapchat pinterest and obviously youtube please um other than that i'll see you next week at 2 p.m <laughs>